Hi friends, the next live session that we will be conducting will be on the 5th of Jan, which is the coming Sunday from 10 a.m. to 12 in the noon. And this time the topic is time series analysis and forecasting. This will be accessible to all of our registered students via the desktop app. And as usual, we'll use Slack for all of the chat during the or any live communication during the uh, during the live session itself. Having said that, we have covered lots of related topics around time series analysis and forecasting in the course videos itself. For example, we have discussed some very simple stuff in our uh, taxi uh, in our taxi demand prediction problem, uh, which is which is one of our case studies where we talk about simple concepts like weighted moving averages or exponentially weighted moving averages. We also look at how to pose a time series forecasting problem as a typical regression problem. Again, we also discuss about Fourier, Fourier transforms or Fourier series on how to detect the repeatedness or the or, or, or the or at what intervals is a is the time series repeating. We've used some of these concepts extensively in the case study of taxi demand prediction. Also, we also have discussed LSTMs in lots of detail, which are almost the state of the art for all of time series forecasting problems. Having said that, still some of our students are confused on how to apply these techniques to real world problems because all these concepts are spread around the course. They're not all discussed at one place because it's not possible to do it. To understand LSTMs, we have to cover all of deep learning. But to do simple weighted moving averages and simple concepts, basic concepts are good enough, right? To understand Fourier transforms, a little bit of mathematical maturity is required. So these concepts are spread around the whole course as and when the need arised. This is slightly uh, confusing for our students because they're a little caught up when a real world problem comes up. They're a little caught up on what technique to apply, which technique is most relevant here and things like that. So what we thought we'll do is we'll take some real world cases and in each of these cases, we'll discuss which techniques to apply, how to apply them gracefully. And I'll give pointers to the course videos where the concept has been discussed in a lot more detail. Having said that, there are some classical techniques like ARIMA that we have not discussed in the course because today's state of the art in forecasting is all LSTMs. But what I'll try to do in this live session as time permits, we'll try and cover a few classical techniques also so that your breadth of knowledge as well as uh, your, your, uh, your conceptual understanding of alternative techniques also improves, right? So what we'll do in this two hour session is we'll try to take a bunch of problems We'll try to solve them using techniques that we've already discussed in the course videos. At the same time, as and when there is something or as and when there is a context where we can introduce a new concept or a new idea or a new method or technique, we will discuss that in detail. Again, we'll try to finish all of this in two hours. In case we run out of time, we'll do one more live session on this, right? But I am hoping that because a lot of this content is already covered in the course videos, I'm hoping that we should be able to cover it in two hours. If there is any lack of time if there is if there is a, for any reason we are not able to cover everything that we plan to cover we can do one more live session on this topic right having said this this is a, this live session can be beneficial to students who are both in the early sections of the course videos as well as in the later sections of the course videos of course students who are in the earlier sections of the course videos may not be able to understand when i talk about lstms etc but they get a much more uh, much more deeper understanding and contextual understanding on where LSTMs are actually useful in the bigger picture of things, right? But we'll be using, again, I'll, I'll be referring to very simple, basic data analysis and basic concepts, which even students who are in the earlier sections of the course can benefit from. Certainly students who are in the later sections of the course will get a much better picture because they would have already learned about LSTMs. They would have done all the case studies in the course and things like that, right? So we'll try to do an ex as extensive as possible uh, live session on time series analysis. If you cannot do it in one, we'll do it in two live sessions. Okay, see you this Sunday. Hoping to have a great session with all of you.